Welcome to Real Hair Talk. I'm Monique, creator of Club Rapunzel. Today, sitting with Sandra. Hi everyone, I'm Sandra. I'm a born and raised Florida girl with lots of hair issues. <laughs> so we're gonna hear about those hair issues in just a sec. Sandra, welcome to the show. Tell us all about any hair concerns or challenges that you have now. Uh, so the big ones are definitely the frizz and the gray. <laughs> and the frizz mainly because Florida girl, Miami, there's a lot of humidity, so there's a lot of frizz. And um, I always get so many compliments of, oh, you have such great hair, it's so thick, it's so, you know, pretty and stuff, but it's very challenging, it's very hard to upkeep in terms of trying to keep that frizz under control. My hair is kind of so thick, it just is very time intensive. It takes a lot of time to do my hair. Like um, to dry it. To dry it, yes. If you want to dry it pretty, it takes a very long time. <laughs> and then the gray, I've inherited a lot of gray from my mom. And so every few weeks, I definitely have to color the roots. Well, you're, let your natural color shine. I know, a lot of people are doing that lately. I've seen that movement, but um, it's weird. It's just like, for me, it's just all right here where it's more visible. So it's not like evenly spread out or it's not like a cool little streak. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I'm still coloring that. So tell us about a time that you tried something out of the ordinary. Uh, so, like I said, the problem is the frizz. So, a long time ago, it was probably 10 years ago, I did something called Japanese hair treatment. It's kind of like, it's like a keratin, where I went and sat in a chair for like 10 hours for them to try to get this frizz out. And, uh, you know, it was super, super straight. It was fine at first, but eventually I found like a lock of hair that was just like cut. It seemed like someone had taken scissors and like... <laughs> <laughs> So I doubt it was very good for my hair. <laughs> so do you think they literally took scissors or no, it just somehow snapped I, yes. off evenly just there? I think so. I think it just like damaged the hair and eventually just became too weak and like a chunk fell off. I don't know. I have no idea. And then probably about less than a year ago, I did keratin when I was in Colombia. And it was great because it meant very low maintenance for my hair, but the process was crazy because of the fumes and everything. And it was like made my eyes water. I had like a towel over my face and I was also there for about four or five hours. You had a towel over your face yes. for four hours. <laughs> yes, because the fumes were so heavy and I was just like, okay, this is definitely causing cancer. <laughs> <laughs> my hair was much more manageable afterwards and it was great. It was awesome, but I just, Cringe to think of what the effects of those chemicals are on me. I, or, or the poor women who work there, because they do it all the time. They had like 15 customers there doing the same exact thing, and they're all inhaling those fumes every day for eight hours a day. I, I we cringe to yeah, think. Yeah, we don't think about like the long term. We're effects. just thinking about what we want now. Yes. So finally, tell us what's next. What's your outcome desired hair results? I just find a way that I can do my hair that it looks nice, but I don't have to spend an hour doing it. <laughs> like I'd love to learn how to like wear my hair curly in a pretty way because I, I think that takes a lot less time than sitting there blow drying. Yeah, I it think so. Hair, hair brush. Less damaging as well. Yeah, and probably less damaging. So I'd like to learn how to better manage my hair in less time. Thank you, Sandra, for sharing with us today. We're so excited to see more about your hair and where can we see more photos of you and where can we just learn more about what you're up to? Uh, so I'm an attorney. I work here in Miami Beach and my law firm is the Peggy Law Firm. You can find me at peggylaw.com and I'm also on Facebook. And uh, I actually have great photo shoot hair shots on there. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, and I continuously post on my LinkedIn, Sandra Upegi. That's U-P-E-G-U-I-L-A-W.com. Awesome. So follow her, follow at Club Rapunzel, like, comment, and make sure to go over to clubrapunzel.com to join the program. And we'll see you here next time. Bye. Bye.